アによるイデオロギー支配の実性を挙げたマニファクチャリングコンテンツ。<笑>守っていかなければならない、守っていきたいということから、そしてその後、まあ、その他諸々の地域の方々がこのように一堂に会して、このような形になったということです。Our culture is, is tied to the land.、Um, in fact, our people have said the land is the culture.、Um, so when people take our land, they take our culture. When they take our culture, they take our land. And so、uh, we trust our own people to tell our own stories in our own way. Hello, my name is Puhi Pau. I represent the Kanaka Maoli, the real people of Hawaii. In our、uh, discussion this morning as to how we would present ourselves here this afternoon,、uh, a suggestion was made that we call for people in Yamagata to support. All of the native peoples from the world, and to send the message out to the people of the world and the, basically the different governments of the world to support all of us. We all come from different countries, and、uh, our countries, the real people, are sitting here. Our country is occupied by people from someplace else. We have European people who have come and taken all of America from the East Coast to the West Coast and out into the Pacific. That is where I come from. And those European people have controlled our land, our resources for many, many years. And we see the time as、uh, now for these European people to repent. And to make right those wrongs that they have done to us. We are in the process in Hawaii of re establishing our nation. There is a strong movement towards independence. And the Japanese people should hear about this. In our videotape that we have brought here to Yamagata, it talks about the overthrow of our country. And we invite you all to come and view and hear the truth that is coming from us, the Kanaka Maori. Just talk about the Hawaiian situation, the, the importance of,、uh, of Hawaiian people harnessing television and films to portray their own stories. You know, our history has,、uh, has never been taught to us. And, 
And we are now discovering uh, a lot of uh, our culture, our language is starting to emerge like yours and, uh, in the Kuangareo and uh, uh, many of the uh, arts that uh, sailing, for instance, you know, has uh, revived itself. The hula has come back. And the only thing that's really uh, hasn't uh, taken place yet is uh, a grasp on the uh, the land, you know, that, that's our final uh, goal is to to lock in control uh, of our land, you know, to make sure that uh, our descendants, you know, our children and their children uh, will have a place in Hawaii. You know, uh, many of us have to leave our own home to survive. You know, a lot of us, uh, half of us, in fact, in, has have left Hawaii just for survival. You know, there's the cost of living is high. Uh, the cost of everything is high. You know, 85 percent of the the people in Hawaii, you know, including the the non-natives, are uh, aren't able to purchase homes. So, consequently, you know, uh, what's happening in Hawaii affects not only the native Hawaiians but affects everybody. And uh, I think our struggle for sovereignty and independence has a good chance for support from the non-indigenous peoples because it would be to their benefit to have a cleaner environment and at uh, you know with American constitutional laws and things like that uh, we uh, you know we, we uh, really uh, haven't uh, been able to uh, control our own destiny <laughs> The film, The Act of War, if there was a message that you wanted to get across to indigenous peoples around the world, what would that be? Well, you know, Act of War is a, is a, is a historical piece, and it explains uh, part of the hidden uh, facts that had, had not been revealed to anybody, including ourselves. We, had, we have learned from the making of this tape uh, our own history, and that history uh, was a very important part uh, of the in, in our history was the overthrow of our government you know so with the the facts being revealed as they are in this tape uh, we hope to to uh, gain the support of those who are able to see the tape and maybe uh, eventually uh, we, you know to get the support uh, for our sovereignty movement and uh, we feel that if we do, uh, if we do succeed in, 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 get, in getting this support, we can uh, apply the pressure to the United States government to deal with uh, our situation. How uh, committed are the native Hawaiians to the cause? Well, I tell you, it, uh, it's been a long struggle. In fact, it's been a hundred years. Uh, since the overthrow of our government. So the struggle began a hundred years ago. It has gone up and down and up and down and at the present time uh, we seem to be on the high crest. You know, we're flying pretty good. Uh, the word sovereignty used to be uh, a word that people could hardly pronounce, let alone spell. Uh, so today we see the word being used on the breakfast table, uh, people all around Hawaii are using this word, uh, sovereignty has become a, uh, a family word now. And uh, people are starting to pay attention to our history and uh, to the rights and uh, the wrongs that have been done to the people. So uh, I'd say that uh, the movement is growing. It's growing steadily. And it's great to see uh, people who are on the far right, uh, totally uh, full-on Americans, you know, who are Hawaiian, of Hawaiian ancestry, uh, have, you know, strict allegiance to a country that, uh, that took us over. And uh, today, we have, uh, you know, people with credibility, you know, like doctors and uh, historians and, uh, who have taken up the cause. So it's not a radical thing anymore, uh, you know, where they call us a bunch of activists or, uh, or uh, troublemakers. It's uh, now being accepted that uh, there has been a wrong, and it's the honorable thing to do to, to join in 
with the, the independence struggle for Hawaii. It's a beautiful weather. It's very nice. I can't help noticing your sweatshirt. Did you go to Princeton? Really? I just graduated from Princeton. That's why I was like, oh, my school. <laughs> How deep-seated is the, the concern over being oppressed? How deep-seated is the resentment by Native Hawaiians? Well, uh, you know, when you're an oppressed people, it's pretty hard to pick yourself up unless you are, I think, informed and you have a firm uh, grip of your history. And this is where Namaka Oka Aina has uh, played a role in, in, uh, in attaining that, uh, that urgency within our own uh, community to take on the struggle, you know, to become part of uh, an honorable thing. You know, and uh, as far as uh, the people themselves uh, grasping it, I think the important thing is our homeland is being overrun by tourism. Uh, tourism has played a big role in, uh, in, in our De demise, you know, where we're at right now, because uh, the cost of living is, uh, is affected by tourism, and uh, the, our resources, for instance, have been wiped out. You know, I mean, uh, we, we're not allowed to go to certain of our beaches because uh, the hotels block our access to them. And uh, when we get to the beaches, it's full of uh, oil slicks that have been you know, come off of the tourist backs with that suntan oil that they use, you know, so uh, they, they've dug up our reefs, uh, the food source is gone, so, and also the golf courses play a big role in uh, polluting our, our area, you know, uh, and they take up a lot of the land. Uh, so those things need to be addressed, and our people are without homes, like I said earlier, you know, we, we're left out in the cold and uh, homeless in our own homeland. So I feel strongly that uh, these things will drive us you know, even more stronger and uh, make us uh, become a, a more uh, orchestrated effort to reach our goal. Kia ora. Mahalo. Indigenous film and television program makers here say Native people must harness modern technology to ensure absolute control over their images and stories. None of them like this wedding anyway. They're like Mr. Simmons, scared of us. They believe the effective use of video and film is crucial if their culture and languages are to survive into the next century. To Grorangi Morgan, Yamagata, Japan, 3 National News. Yeah, that's it. got three good ones there. Yeah. Thank you. 